Hi, I'm Chuck Fast. Welcome to the world of motorsports. Can't mistake that sound. Looks like we got ourselves an orange Pro Street truck rolling into this little car show over here. All right, gearheads, we're over here at this little car show out here in Portland, and a Pro Street truck has just rolled up in here, and we've got the owner here with us. So uh, let's take a peek at this and let him tell us what he's got here, my man. Uh, who are you? Uh, my name's Joe. No, uh, that's just a 355 with a 671 on it. Now you got this. Uh, well polished Wyand 671 on here, huh? Yeah. What do you got? You got this thing, uh, what kind of boost you're running on this? Uh, it's like at about 10, 10 to 12. Uh huh. Now, what kind of compression ratio do you run on that? Uh, it's about 8, eight to 1. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh. So you've got any horsepower figures, anything like that? I don't. I haven't been able to get it on the dyno yet. I'm still tinkering with it. But you got two. Uh, Two demon carburetors on this. Yeah, 750s. They're 750s, huh? Yeah, it seems to be running pretty good when you rolled in here. Yeah, it runs pretty good. Still got some tinkering to do with it, but. Yeah, so they're like, you've got this. Is this the uh, stock frame on up front here? Or? Yep. All right. It's got aftermarket uh, steering, but other than that. Stock up front, and that Art Morrison in the back. Now, what year is your truck here? Uh, 98. Okay, it's a 98 Chevy pickup truck, SS. Let's take a look down this this rig here. Well, hey, let's still take a look at the back. What you did back here? How long you had this? Uh, like four years. Did you start on this like four years ago? Or? Pretty much. All right. Well, the first thing we notice here is some massive tubs back here. And uh, you got your battery in the rear. Looks like you'd probably have a crossbar over the top of that when it comes time yeah. for action. Yeah. So, yeah, you got some big tubs that come all the way up. That's good because uh, it looks like you need the room, judging from these yeah, wheels and tires. Uh, 29 inch Hoosiers. So, these are Hoosiers, street tread tires. 29 inches and uh, what kind of wheels are those? Uh, billet specialties. Oh yeah. We're gonna take a scan underneath here. You were just telling us here you got a you got an eight three quarter. You got a yeah. Muncie four speed Mopar. Eight and three quarter rear end Dutchman axles and a spool. Uh, Art Morrison four link suspension in the back. Ah. QA1. Oh, okay. It's got QA1 shocks under this, huh? And then uh, 456 gears, uh, Dutchman axles. Yeah, Dutchman's a company that uh, used to be right here in Portland. Full interior with a heater. Oh, yeah, everything works. Heater works. It's got full interior. So it sounds like it's somewhat comfortable. Uh, but those 456s must be a bit of a chore. Yeah, they're a bit short on the freeway, but. Yeah. Now, are you, it looks like you're rowing. Are you rowing a four-speed up there, or yeah, what? Yeah, Muncie four-speed. Cool. So you got a, you got like a Muncie what M, M21 four-speed or something? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. How's that like a, driving a blown Pro Street truck around with a I like four-speed behind it? I like it. That's my favorite part about it. <laughs> so, uh, what would you guess for horsepower? Uh, probably. Between six and seven. Hey, we're going to take a look inside the interior here. We got uh, we got your four-speed sitting right there. Can't miss it. Looks like you got what do you got there on your column? Uh, That's a shift light. You, you can your shift light mounted on your column. What are you redline this baby at? Uh, it goes up to about seventy-five. Oh yeah, twist this thing up to seventy-five hundred. That must be fun. <laughs> So, all right, man. So, what do you got? Any plans? What's your next step here? Oh, I'm thinking about getting rid of it and starting another project. It was fun. Oh yeah. I want to do something a little bit older. Well, there you have it, gearheads. He's thinking about letting this go. You got any uh, idea on price? I think it's probably worth twenty, uh, eighty-six. 
Yeah? Hey, anything happen here? Anything crazy in the process of owning There's and driving this? Just a lot of work fitting that, that much motor in there. I wanted to keep it low because I didn't want it sticking way up out of the hood. So with my hood closed, you can barely even tell there's a blower on there. Yeah, I noticed when you drove in, I saw your air cleaner sticking out, but we couldn't we couldn't miss the wine. Yeah. <laughs> but so you got this thing mounted low in here for that reason. Yeah. I see. Well, well made the exhaust and stuff a bit of a headache, but. Well, coming from a NASCAR background, low center of gravity is usually a good thing. Yes. <laughs> so. All right, Joe. Well, hey, thanks for sharing this with us. We'll uh, get it on up for the rest of the guys to All see. All right. Thank you. Okay.